Welcome, I am Dr. Neva, and I try to focus on giving you valuable information that you can grow in your career. This is a previous recording that I had with Sharon on a webinar, and she dropped some knowledge on PR. Here we go. So as Dr. Neva mentioned, my name is Sharon Devonish Lead. I am the, I'm a celebrity publicist. I am also the founder of Netstruck PR and the founder of Ladies of Third Thursday, which is a business networking group. And I'll talk a little bit about that later on, but I am here to talk to you about why is it important to have PR for your brand. Now, I've been in this industry for over 20 years, and um, PR consists of many entities. It's not only just media, it is community engagement, now, because we have social media, which is so vast, large, um, social media is a very big part of it. Influencers, networking, um, you know, email marketing, you know, a host of things is under the same umbrella of public relations. But the main thing about public relations is getting your media connections, getting connected to the media because once you get a media outlet, that will cover your story, you're considered now an expert. You are considered an expert in your industry. And let me just talk a little briefly about what the media looks for in terms of getting coverage. For one, you have to have a story to tell. And every business has a story to tell. I don't want you to think that because you may have um, you know, maybe a pet store or something to that extent. You have a story to tell, and that story can be told in a specific way that will be considered newsworthy. And, you know, in order for media to be very interested in you getting in, in picking you up, they have to have an interest. So let me talk about a couple of interests, what the media looks for for you to get picked up. One, as I mentioned, you know, to be newsworthy, you have to provide some type of awareness. And all media, I always tell my clients, all media is not good media. Because if that media outlet does not cover your target group, then it makes no sense to have an interview or be covered in that outlet because your target group is not going to hear your story. So what you need to do is make sure that you do your research and find the correct media outlet that will fit your brand, fit your industry, fit your target group. Um, but you have to provide an awareness, some type of awareness. So for instance, um, May, for instance, is a uh, um, mental health awareness month. Media outlets are always looking for themed things to cover on. That's a theme. Each month has a theme, several themes, and media outlets love to hear those things because it's an awareness. So if your business provides an awareness, then that's something where you'll be able to pitch to a media outlet. Another thing that which you can pitch to the media outlet that will be considered newsworthy is also being in tune with current events. So for instance, the main thing right now is COVID. If you can have your business relate to anything COVID related, nine times out of 10, you will get uh, media coverage. And why that's so important is because right now it's the flavor of the moment. It's the flavor of the, of, of the month for media outlets. They're looking for anything now that is in relating to COVID related. So if you are a therapist, if you are, you know, have your own juice bar, if you are doing, um, you know, deliveries for food, all of those things can be in relation to COVID. So, so I, I tell my clients, you know, start regrouping and start thinking about how does your business collate with COVID? I have a client, she does, um, she, you know, her, she just launched her book on child molestation and, um, you know, unfortunately, school is out, and 35% of molesters are parents. Guess what? Children are home with those parents that are a child molester. So 
even though it may go unnoticed, you know, and, and, and may not be put out there that, you know, this is happening, but the outlet for these kids was going to school. So the awareness of letting the community know and, and connecting with the current time is that child molestation is in relation because COVID is now keeping the children home with their, with their molester. So that's another thing in terms of community, um, in terms of, um, you know, just getting in time with current events. Another thing that would be interesting for media as newsworthy is give backs. So again, this is something where even in this time, a lot of businesses and organizations are giving back. They're, they're going to frontline um, companies, hospitals, police departments, fire departments, everybody that is frontline, and they're giving back. So whether they're giving masks, whether they're feeding them, they're doing something, just applauding that is something that media will come out. And, um, you know, a, a lot of businesses are actually doing that. And it's a twofold with the give back. One, it's showing that you are human, you have a humanity part to you. And the other part shows is that, you know, your, your business is in tune with what's going on. So having a give back component to your business also brings newsworthy for media outlets. Now, why do you want to do these things? Media helps you grow your business. You have millions of eyes on you when you get an interview. And public relations, media relations, is all about telling your story. Your story goes so much further than just posting a flyer than just doing an advertisement, even doing a commercial. Because what people do, people tend to buy with someone that they can relate with. And small businesses does not have the budget to do several commercials, to do several billboards and, and postings and so forth like that like the bigger companies do. So what smaller businesses need to tend need to go to to relate to is is getting interviews, telling their story. Once you tell your story, people are now interested. They want to know more about you and your business and how your business is helping them. How their biz how your business is helping someone else, the consumer. You have to show those top those those three things are what I should, what I talked about with the media in your story. And again, it goes so much further. A person would be more inclined to deal with someone, to do business with someone if they heard their story. They heard the trials and tribulations and why they decided to go into this business compared to someone who just did a flyer. You have to stand out. You have to show your red apple. Interviews shows your red apple. So I encourage small businesses to take an opportunity to get yourself prepared and start pitching yourself to qualified media outlets that would cover your business. Now, I said earlier, it's not something where you should just pitch to any and every type of media outlet. All media is not good media. Some platforms don't fit your brand. Some platforms don't cover what you act, what your industry is about. So you have to do your research in terms of who you want to uh, market to, who, what media outlet covers what you cover, journalists. Now, I'm not just talking about TV. I'm talking about all platforms. I'm talking about um, television, talking about radio, online print, print, any type of media exposure. Do your research. Connect with journalists, connect with reporters, and get in line with them to see, is this something, is my business in line with what they do their stories on? Because what you don't want to do is pitch to outlets, pitch to journalists, pitch to reporters, and they're not covering what, you, what your industry is about. So it's a waste of time. It gets frustrated, 
And that's why a lot of people come to me because they say they've been sending pitches, they've been sending out different to, to different outlets, and nothing has happened, nothing at all. And when we sit down and get deep down into it, I find out that they've been pitching the wrong way, and they've been pitching to the wrong media outlets. So, you know, PR is all about doing your research, making relationships, connecting with individuals, and having them connect with you on a much deeper level by telling your story, giving your red apples out. Why do you stand out? It's always important for you to stand out, and that's what, more, that's what people look for. They want to know, I don't want to deal with the regular Joe Schmo. I want to deal with a company that stands out, that's going to be more mindful to my interests, my care, so I will feel comfortable. 